hello everyone so welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to learn how to configure our visual studio code so that you can make it uh, ready for our gutenberg block development i hope you have installed uh, this uh, visual studio code in your machine and if uh, if you have successfully finished the uh, installation then simply open the visual studio code so this is the default behavior of the look and feel of this editor so since we're going to developing our block for the gutenberg i mean the wordpress we need some extra extension so that we can get some extra benefits like the code auto completion or suggestion then it will be very easy and useful for us uh, to develop uh, our custom block so to install the extension and uh, visual studio code you have to go to this extension icons i mean this uh, block icons click on here then you have to search for first you want to install for wordpress so search for wordpress then you will get uh, some uh, extension like this one is wordpress snippets i have already installed this one and make it active you have to install this one or you can use this one wordpress snippets or you can use both of them sorry so this are first extension and secondly since we were we will work on gutenberg so we need a gutenberg solution also so search for the gutenberg then you will get this one the gutenberg a uh, wordpress gutenberg snippets or you can use on this one a uh, wordpress gutenberg component list so these two are essential for us we also install some more extension to modify or to format our javascript code and first one is the eslint if you search for eslint you will find this one uh, you have to install this in your visual studio code it is not compulsory but it is better for uh, writing or formatting your standard code and fourth one you have to search for pttr so oh this one this one the code formatter i have to install this one in your visual studio course so these four extensions are needed to start developing uh, our custom so i hope you will be able to install this in your visual studio code and if you have any more questions about it please search on google or please let me know so that i can help you from the next video we will start developing our custom Good and my blog. Thank you.